Hey guys, JC here. This is how you get the race transponder working on your Seriously Pro Racing Evo flight controller. Uh, the first thing you want to do is look on the back side and you will find where it says IR negative, IR positive, as well as IR slash LED. Next to IR slash LED you will see uh, two triangles with a square in the middle. What you want to do is take a just a drop of solder and solder the triangle on the left side to the square. What this will do is choose IR instead of the addressable LEDs. Uh, now you do not want to solder all three of these together because something will probably fry. The other thing that this means is you have to pick one or the other. So you can either have addressable LEDs or the race transponder. You can't have both. Now as far as soldering this into your fly controller, if you look on the top side you will see where it says IR and then positive and then negative on the left side. So your negative pin will go on the right, positive goes on the left. If you uh, look at your LED, one leg will be longer than the other. The longer leg is the positive, the shorter leg is the negative. You also want to figure out which way you want this LED facing because it has to be facing towards the timing system on the racetrack that you will be flying on. So this is just an idea. I would assume because the USB cable, you either want it on the right or left side of your multi-rotor typically because if you place it on the front, you can't get your USB cable past your camera and on the rear is a headache as well. So this means that your uh, say the timing system is on the right side of where your multi-rotor will be passing through. That is why I have bent this LED around to face straight out to the right. If your timing system is going to be on the left then you would want to face it the other way. Or you could just rotate your flight controller around and uh, you know say your timing system is on the left side now then you're good either way. You also don't want anything blocking this LED like any standoffs or wires, anything like that, because this LED is going to be sending out a sequence of lights, uh, basically a code, and the timing system will read that code to know exactly who you are. Now if we take a USB cable and plug it in, and we go into beta flight or clean flight, either one works. Go to configuration, scroll down, and Make sure you have the transponder turned on, and then if you did not have it on, you just now turned it on, then make sure you save and reboot. Now if you go to the race transponder tab, your flight controller should automatically have a code here, and this is your unique individual code. I know whenever, whenever you purchase these flight controllers, it comes with a QR code like this that you can scan with your cell phone or computer, and it also has a code here that says transponder code but you do not want to enter these numbers in into beta flight or clean flight because this is not that's not going to work this is for whenever you scan this with your cell phone you have to enter that into the website so we should now be done so let's just disconnect now as far as testing it the thing is with IR LEDs the human eye can't see it so I'm just you don't have to do this or you, you might want to I'm not sure but I'm just going to take some electrical tape and put it over the LEDs, that way we can see a little bit better. The LEDs that are flashing, I mean. But what I was saying is the human eye cannot see IR LEDs, but cameras can. So you probably want to make it really dark, and you don't have to have a video camera like I'm using. You can actually use your cell phone. I know it's very faint, but you can. Uh, if you look closely, you'll see a bluish purplish light that is actually the LED and it looks like it's flickering because like I said it's actually sending out a very unique code and the timing systems can actually read this code to know who you are. And that basically does it guys. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup. Uh, your last step is to make sure you scan this with your cell phone, computer, whatever and do whatever you have to do on that website. I couldn't tell you. I've never done it but uh, that would be the last thing you need to do. So I hope this cleared it up for you guys. Um, I'll be leaving some links to some other playlists in the description below for other videos you can check out. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.